Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory, go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachwadash, double honor to the apostles, elder bishops of Great Millstone Peace, and blessings to you fellow brothers out there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, Shabbat doing a walk and talk lesson through the spirit of power and inspiration of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachwadash, and that's the name, that's the true name of who the world ignorant calls God, Yahweh, he is, he exists, he to be. Um, his son's name, who the world ignorant calls Christ. And, and these names you must call on, okay, uh, who the world ignorant calls Christ is Yahweh Shai. He, Yah, Yahweh Shai delivers or saves, okay? And according to Matthew 1 and 21, he's coming to save his people, which are the Israelites, okay, Yasha Allah in the Hebrew, he is a prince of the power, okay, we're princes of the power, we're the, we're the, uh, the premier, the, the elect nation of Yah Basham al Shai, and all nations will be under us in the kingdom of heaven. Now, what I'm going to call this one is, is, uh, color psychology and Hebrew Israelites that dress in all black. Okay, something like that. I'm going to work that out at the end. This is kind of an impromptu. This hit me earlier as I was, uh, you know, finishing up some work. You know, it was early morning um, Wednesday. I mean, the days, the days are going by so fast. I thought today was uh, Tuesday. One second. I'm sipping on some um, bone broth today for my tea. So, you know, it's really good if you have any digestive issues, any connective, uh, connective tissue issues, any inflammation in the body, you know, um, you know, joint issues, arthritis is really good to get on a bone broth regimen. You know, you can do it yourself. Um, I will use organic bones, but let me go into this lesson. Like I said, this is, this kind of just sparked the spirit hit me, the inspiration hit me. I was on a thread earlier today and I was seeing this Israelite group that was at the Barclay Center and I seen them before they popped up on my YouTube thread before. And um, I've been noticing lately there's a lot of Israelites that are just been popping up, you know, some that say double honors to Great Millstone, some that, that don't say double, du double honors to Great Millstone, the elders, the apostles. OK, whatever. <laughs> We know, hey, everybody's not going to be part, um, you know, of, you know, Great Millstone. That's totally fine. You know, they, they could have learned from somebody else, but ultimately, go, we know what it is, but I'm not going to touch that. That's a different lesson, right? But I was seeing, it was, it was actually on a, a live link thread and how they were saying how they love Hitler. Because isn't that what uh, Yi just said? How they love Hitler and Hitler did great things and this is the um, this is what this Israelite group was saying and you know we have we, we definitely have to be careful and use our words okay um, seasoned with salt as the scriptures say our words have to be seasoned with salt understanding we're we're beyond we're behind enemy lines and understanding ultimately the end game of the en our enemies Esau starting with Esau how they want to take us down let me um let me go into this scripture second we always go into this second Corinthians 2 and 11 and it reads least Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of saying devices and I want to go into that, you know, these Israelites that dress in all black. That's also, you know, they were saying is they were dressing all black and they had their head covered. Some um, have beanies on. Um, beanies on with their with hoodies on. And I'm going to try to get a snapshot and I'm going to put it up. And they were dressing all black militant. Right. Even IUIC. They, they came out, you know, in so-called military uh, um, 
formations with the marching, which they, they weren't militant in the sense of combative, you know, with arms, but they have that appearance. And the scriptures say not to have any appearance of evil. Now, it's not wicked, you know, but in this time that we're in, where everything is polarized, when anything um, that uh, especially the Israelites do is under a microscope and it's going to be blown out of proportion, okay, and they're going to uh, demonize it, we have to be very careful how we walk. We have to walk upright. We have to, well, let me bring out another scripture, uh, what Yahweh told his disciples, and we are his disciples, right? We were following the commandments of Yahweh Uh, what is that? <clears throat> Give me a second. I think that's Matthew 10. Should be. No, no, no. It's not Matthew 10. Give me a second. Or it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Matthew 10. All right. Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep. In the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So the Lord is con is uh, comparing uh, this walk of ours of uh, Him sent us, sending us out in His Spirit, right? He said, "I will not leave you comfort comfortless, but I will send you the Comforter." Okay, and not so many words. And He's going to dwell with you. He's going to be with you. He's going to teach you all things. It's the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what guides us through uh, our leadership, okay? Because we are in the midst of wolves. We're behind enemy lines. Esau, the powers that be, they want to destroy us, okay? Our message is not well accepted in this world. Remember, the spirit of truth in which the world cannot receive, okay? So this, this word is demonized. Just like during the time of our Lord, when he was speaking, when he was prophesying, when he was gathering to himself his disciples, right, teaching them, right, they had um, uh, much opposition. Even when, okay, uh, they, the, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees saw the miracles, they actually saw the miracles, and they still came against Yahweh Shai and his disciples to destroy him, and ultimately... Uh, our Lord died, which was all prophesied for him to, uh, you know, be sacrificed. He gave his life up. OK. Sacrifice for um, the, the, the Israelites. OK. Starting with the elect. Right. But it says be wise as serpents. And, and a serpent, you know, is a, a very a wise creature. And it's also reverence. OK. On the left hand side will uh Satan is also considered the serpent, okay, or the spirit that this man comes in, or the spirit that a man comes in, he comes in a serpent-like spirit, and that's the, uh, the, the, the spirit Esau comes in, but remember, it's also the spirit that a lot of Israelites come in, and I want to speak about that, about these hirelings and these Israelites that dress in all black. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit of color psychology. I'm just going to touch on it, you know, I'm just going to touch on it. Um, remember, all things have a dual uh, dual meaning as well. So, I mean, um, I want to go into the color black, but black also can mean, you know, certain positive things, you know, confidence and power and stuff like that. But in this case, um, it's, it's being used. Well, Esau used it. That's why he labeled us as black, black Americans. Right. We were Negroes. We were colored. Now we're black, you know, African-American as well. You know, um, these are all negative uh, stigmas, negative condentations. They spark. Like, we're going to go into color psychology. They spark a certain psychology when you see certain colors or when things are actually attached to certain colors. This man, he's very. Very wise. You got to be wise as a serpent. You got to you got to be wise like the devil is wise. OK, and be and, and be wise like the devil is wise. You understand where well, we read it. That's the first scripture we we, uh, we read. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. 
we are not ignorant of his devices, his modus of operandi, his MO, his method of procedure. Okay, the mop, the mop. When you when I when I was in uh, tech, you'll have the they call it the mop. Go get the mop out. You know when you're uh, troubleshooting certain things, and they'll give you the method of procedure, right? Of how the the actual technology works. And you'll go through that, you go step by step, the method of procedure. So we can't be ignorant of the method of procedure of what the devil, how the devil gets down. And remember, he uses color psychology, and that's another indicator of, um, you know, of us uh, identifying the hirelings or, or uh, agents, false prophets, okay? They don't line up with the scriptures, you know, they... Uh, 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 for example, going into this lesson, dressing in all black, what does that indicate? Okay, what spirit does that bring out? Any, everything, when you put on clothes, right, you push out a certain spirit. For example, if a woman, she walks outside, right, and she has a short dress on, she has the eyeliner, the lipstick, the makeup, the hair, you know, she has her cleavage out, you know, you see a lot of skin, you know, that that pushes a certain psychology. It pushes a certain spirit. So likewise, us men that go out there, we in, a, in all black beanies on our head as we're prophesying. You know, like, come on, man. you, you got to look at that like, hmm, not all Israelite groups are created, the, created the same. Remember, there's going to be hirelings. Let me read this. Um, Matthew 10. Let me read this in a, in a um, NLT. Look, I am sending you out as sheep among wolves, so be shrewd as snakes and harmless as doves. Okay? Let me go into, let me just go right into this, uh, just a little color psychology. We're not going to go deep. You can do this on your, you know, you can do this on your time. It, and it's not that deep. Now, you can get deeper, but we just going to go one deep. So here I have, this is from... Maligna Vacom WordPress. It's, it's really just a um, it's really just like a, a a photo of different colors. Yeah, Maligna Vacom dot WordPress dot com. If I'm saying that right, you know, it's one of them weird words, but it just goes into a little bit of color psychology. Give me a second. Let me walk across the street while I have time. It's one of them early, early mornings. Okay, so this word black, and I'll try to put, you know, um, this in post production, but it's not really that big of a deal. You can look it up on your own. The word black means, in color psychology, right? Sophisticated, sophistication, power, mystery, formality, and the last two, evil and death. See that evil and death, and we have to understand what those uh, those uh, uh, those colors, what vibration they push off. When you're wearing all black, that's when you you see, especially Jake, especially you Israelites, you gotta understand, you know, how the world looks at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even like yesterday, I was walking around, you know, I had a hoodie on, um, but you know. It, it's, it's, you know, the, the, the heathen nations, they look at us all, you know, they, they hate us anyway. But I was getting all type of like, I was like, damn, they're feeling like a thief. Because how people, you know, looking at it, I'm like, damn, am I, am I a bad guy? But there's already a negative stigma attached to Jake. How much more if you're dressing in all black, which is synonymous with evil and death, which is, which is synonymous with crime and, 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 and theft. You know, and burglary, right? And then you see these these rap these rap jakes, they they be in that all black, and they be, you know, with the guns and. You know what I mean? Let's look at the word white. And this is also why, uh, Edom, our enemy Satan, okay, this is why he uh. 
This is why he 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 keeps that that stigma of black on us, because what is that um, in psychology? What you know, what does that conjure up? Right. It, it conjures up a negative condensation, a negative stigma, a negative thought. Also, black also goes into ne negativity or darkness. OK, so this is the, the psychology for white. And like I said, it's multi. It's, it, there's many definitions. Certain of them could be good. Certain of them could be bad. Remember, everything is one against another. You know, um, you know, uh, it, you can use things for good. You could use things for bad. Okay, but especially if you're teaching, why the hell are you dressing in all black? Huh? Why? Why are you dressing in all black and you got a beanie on your head? A beanie with a hood. And you preaching the word of the Most High, so you gotta say, hmm. These dudes don't. Hmm. Let me. Well, this the First John a four one. Beloved, believe not every spirit. <laughs> Try the spirits whether they are of the Most High. For many false prophets are gone out. Okay, and a lot of these dudes, man, they set up. You can't. You 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 gotta overstand that. Okay. You got to understand, Jake is wicked as hell. They'll, they'll sell out easy. You can buy a nigga cheap. Okay? Uh, white, freshness, hope, goodness, light, purity, cleanness, simplicity, coolness. See that? <laughs> so Esau, he's considered white. What is that color? What, the, the color psychology behind that? Right? And then you even have like GOCC where they'll dress in all white, you know, to represent, you know, uh, you know, righteousness. That's in, in the scriptures. It goes into that, too. The white is the is the righteousness. Right. The clean, the cleanness, that clean, that white linen, purity, like a, a, a woman, that, that, that tradition of a woman dressing in all white for marriage. That goes that that goes all the way back, which represents her purity, her cleanness, she's never been touched. Okay, and then you also, you had the, um, the, the virgin women, they would dress in the colorful garments. So we even had, uh, you know, uh, examples of that in the scriptures, even in the ancient world, right? You have the, the, the young women, the young uh, virgin women, you would know because they will be dressing in those colorful garments, right? The blue and the purple and the pink and the green and the red, you know, very, very uh, lively. And you know what I mean? And then they'll 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 put on different garments depending on like, for example, your morning. Right. You'll put on a sackcloth that that represents something. That's the when you see that your psychology, which the word psycho goes into the word mind. Ology means uh, the study of. So Esau studies the mind and, and he'll see, OK, what uh, um, feelings, uh, uh, what uh, energy that this particular what, what is this particularly, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, invoke. Right. That's why he'll paint certain buildings, certain colors. When you go into a hospital, it's they it have a certain color. It has a certain smell going also into um aroma aromatherapy okay working off this man he's sensual so he works off your senses but we have we have we have more than five senses we we have to exercise those other two senses as well as discerning in the spirit okay the word uh red danger passion see darling romance style excitement urgency just like you, you see something red, oh, that gives off a different energy, even in the the uh, the plant kingdom and also in the animal kingdom. Certain animals, they have a re they have you know, um, you know red, you know like the the king snake, the king snake, and then you have um, is it is it the coral snake? The coral snake is uh, uh is poisonous. It's one of the most poisonous animals if i'm saying i believe it's the the uh the coral snake right um and even like red and black and uh 
black and yellow. So red and black. The king snake has a red and black stripe, but the coral snake has a a a, a, a red and yellow, right? And I remember this um, this this dude. I forget the guy's name, but he said red and black, friend of Jack, red and yellow, kill a fellow, because these two snakes are very similar. But one. It has the red, but it's, it has a black stripe right next to it, right? The, that's the king snake. That's, it looks poisonous, so it, it pushes off that vibration like, hey, leave me alone. I can be poisonous because it's red. But the coral snake, if I'm saying that snake right, it has a red and yellow. So red and yellow attached by, side by side, that's poisonous. So that was one way to be able to identify the differences between uh, those two snakes. And ironically, I remember I, I, I was in uh, the, 12th, the 12th grade at a friend's house and I actually seen uh, a king snake in the back of his, in the back of his yard. It was, it was the craziest thing. And I remember I was going back into that, uh, that, little, um, that little chant, you know, understanding, you know, if it was poisonous or not. But that's, I'm, I'm going way off into something else, but that, that's the color psychology even within the animal kingdom, if I made sense. So we got a little bit of that. I didn't want to go too deep into that. Let me go into John, the 10th chapter. Okay. Because these dudes, these dudes are set. I mean, it's clear as day now. Some, some of these guys might be, you know, um, sincere. But you can be sincerely bugged out. That doesn't mean anything. Okay? You, you got to know what you're into. You just can't just be jumping into any, anything because they give you, you know, a black shirt with fringes, you know, and a beanie. You know, and you, you, you're, uh, and, you know, hold, give you a Bible and you, you're a reader now. Because you, you got the, the reader, he got, he got a beanie on. The speaker got a beanie on. And a, and a goddamn hood. Talking about, you know, how they love Hitler and they're standing in solidarity with Kyrie and, you know, you, you got to be careful. And this is why, I mean, all those things that it sounds bad. It looks bad. I mean, what they're saying, OK, yeah, you yeah, uh, Esau is going into slavery. Yeah. You know, but you see how they're tying all these. They're trying to tie all these things together to demonize it even more. Right. To make to make it. um when they push it out to the public, look, look at these guys. These dudes are militant. These dudes, they hate. So when they come in, you know, they have the approval from the, uh, the, the, uh, the citizens. Because they just not going to roll on you. Esau, understand, he understands the psychology behind all this. He just not going to roll on you. He has to build up a case. He has to uh, build up, you know, um, um, What's the, what's the word? Uh, 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 s approval. Citizen. He has to build up the people's approval on, on certain things that he, he does. Just like when he went out to Iraq, he has to use an excuse. Oh, look, look, look what they did to the buildings. We got to go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the same thing. He's building that case and we have to understand that. So you got to be you got to uh, beware of these dudes dressing in all black, man. Because there's a certain energy, a certain vibration that's attached to that. Okay, we just read it in, in the color psychology. That's that's all militant groups. Okay, the SWAT, the SWAT uh, dresses in all black. Okay, uh, uh, people who dress in home invasions, they they do they they in all black. The black the Black Panthers, they were in all black, right? So that goes to show you that um, that it was all set up. Look into something called color color. Uh, uh, revolutions like the whole black lives Ma matter that was just another nothing other than a color re re uh, revolution okay one one moment want to go into this john um i'll start at the top and we'll read down okay bear with me <coughs> john <coughs> john 10 and 1 verily verily I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. 
and the, you can see these Israelite, these new springing, these, you know, these Israelites that are just springing up out of nowhere. You can see definitely, I mean, their doctrine, you know, they teach some of the same thing. We all teach pretty much the same thing, but it's the, there's different teaching styles, right? You can see that there's different teaching styles and different levels of knowledge of, of, and how to break certain things down. But for the most part, we all kind of teach the same thing, but they go off on a lot of different things. And they, hey, we, we have, you know, different, um, you could say uniforms, you know, different garments we also wear, right? Like you're not going to go to the doctor's office, right? And, and, and your doctor, he, he comes into the office and he has, uh, you know, he's dressing all black with a hoodie and a beanie. And he's like, what's up? You're like, who, who the hell is... Yeah, we, go, we about to do a surgery. He's like, well, nah, we ain't, we ain't about to do no surgery. You're going to look at him. You're going to look at him weird. You're going to look at him like, man, who is this dude? This ain't the doctor. You expect the doctor to come in with that long white robe. And why did they have... Why did the doctor wear the white robe? You see? So it's all a color. It's all, it's all psychology. You got, it's all dealing with your mind. Remember, this is, this is a battle for your mind. That's where the battle takes place. And this is why Esau, he wants to put his technology in your body so he can control your mind, so he knows your thoughts. Okay? But he that entereth in by the door is the she shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. So ultimately, the elect are not going to be deceived, okay, by, um, you know, the the wrong the, the lecker not going to go into the wrong door. They're not going to hear the wrong uh, shepherd. See what I'm saying? They're going to hear the voice of Yahweh Shai, because the men out there that's preaching the truth, they're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. They they are the voice piece of Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai doesn't actually have to come down here and speak. He's speaking through men that he set up on the earth. OK, and, and, and the believers, they're going to do what? They're going to actually hear that voice. They're going to hear uh, the warning. And that's oh, another scripture. Uh, Lord's why I'm going to go into that. Ezekiel, the third chapter, because, OK, why, why are we bringing this out? Oh, you guys are just hating these other groups, man. Just leave, just leave, these, just leave these other groups alone, man. That's Israel, man. Why can't all Israel just get together, man? Cause look, bro. Like, first of all, you saying some stupid shit like that, man. You you out you out of your goddamn mind. You got you got thieves and robbers. You got hirelings. You got agents. You got men crept in unaware. Okay, you got false prophets. We have to warn our people. We're 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 giving you warning. This this is a video of warning. You see, you can't you can't just trust any Israelite. Your neighborhood Israelite guy because he's he's giving it to the white man that the the black panthers was doing that islam was doing that and that and that organization's completely controlled so it's the same thing you don't think esau got camp set up huh you don't think this man got camp set up you don't think he paid people off you if you if you don't understand that man you you're not you're you're probably not part of the elect OK, and it's our job as the men of the Lord to give you warning, to, to, to let you know that these things are true and you got to be wary. You got to You got to vet. Beloved, believe not every spirit. First John four and one. You have to be versed in the scriptures and ultimately you, you have to have the spirit of Yahweh Shai on you. OK. Verse four, and when he put it forth his own sheep, he go before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. And a stranger they will not follow, <clears throat> but will flee from him for they know not the voice of strangers. And, and these these certain of these Israelite groups will shit really most of them. I'm going to say it like that. Most of them, because re remember. There's more false prophets than there are, okay, uh, prophets of Yah Bashar al Shai. And there's many scriptures on that. You know, many, many, uh, 
instances in which, you know, uh, there was more false prophets than there were, you know, prophets of the Most High. Okay, 400 prophets of Baal to like one prophet of Elijah. You see, where Elijah was like, Lord, they killed, they killed all your prophets. I'm the only, I'm the only one here. He thought he was, he thought he was alone. But remember, uh, what was the prophet that hid so many hundreds of prophets? I forget it was Hosea or something like that. But um, so there's there, and namely it's 144,000 that are that are being risen, that are being raised up, right? But a, a good indicator is you know, first I mean first of all you gotta listen to what they're 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 saying, right? You gotta listen to what spirit they're coming in. And in and, and another indicator, they, they push Christ, Christ this, Christ that, God this, God that, the most high this, the most high that, most high bless. Oh, and you Israelites that saying most high bless, man, the most high ain't dealing with you. Point blank, period. You you got it. You got to you got to come full circle, man. You you talking about the most high Christ bless. Who the hell is that? OK, so that that's another indicator. All right. This parable spake Yahweh shot unto them, but they understood not what the things they were which he spake unto them. Okay, because the Lord, he had to break down these things. They weren't able, they, they didn't get it back then. So he will come to them afterwards because he'll be speaking to not only his disciples, but his disciples will be there, but he'll be speaking also to the masses, right? Or, or the, 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 the many Israelites out there, the good and the bad. And the disciples be like, man, what's, man, what's, what's going on? What is he? You know, they'll speak amongst them, murmur amongst themselves. So what does he mean by this? The shepherd and the sheep, they don't hear the voice, right? You you, you go to uh, Matthew 13, it goes into that. When they say, Lord, why do you speak to them in parables? Then said Yahweh shy unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that can... All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life. For, for the sheep, but he that is a hireling, see, that's a one thing, the, the word that popped into my mind, hireling, all right, when I seen these guys, okay, they got the, the microphone, they out there at, you know, the Barclay uh, uh, Center, when Kyrie literally doesn't stand in solidarity with the Israelites, okay, uh, th th it was all set up. OK, if every last I mean, some of it might be organic. Right. But hey, as the saying is, never let a good crisis go to waste. OK. And this is a perfect example or a per it was a perfect opportunity to galvanize these these uh, militant looking Israelites. That's why it's important to, to, to you know, to 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 look a certain way. OK, like I said, the, the example of you going to a doctor's office and your doctor comes in with, with some Jordans, all black Jordans or some combat boots, some some military fatigues, all black hoodie, a beanie on and some shades. And say, are you ready? You ready? Let me let me check your heart. You're going to look at them. You're going to look at them. Like, who the hell is this? Because it brings a certain energy. OK, and you get Israel. Yeah, that's right. That's right, brother. Kick it to them that they're not part of the elect. You saying some shit, stupid shit like that. You're not part of the elect. Now, you can repent. Maybe you were just super simple. OK, but look, there's many videos going out warning you. Oh, brother, y'all just getting on all the camp. Just, just, just. You, 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 like I said, you, you, you saying some shit like that. You probably not part of the elect. I don't know. OK. <clears throat> But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd who own, whose own the sheep are not, see of the wolf coming 
and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep, right? As we read, <clears throat> well, it's, going, it's in this same chapter. Um, <clears throat> no, it's, or, or Matthew, we read in Matthew 10 about, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, okay? So you, you got Israelites that are hirelings that see the wolf, the wolf come and eat, eat them, the enemy, uh, uh, and, and and basically they gon they gonna flee right at the last minute. Now now you the sheep you through, you ain't got no protection. You ain't got no covering. They didn't teach you the name, okay? They say the name is not important. They told you that the MOTB that ain't no mic ain't no microchip ain't no ain't no such thing no microchip. They, that's what they told you, okay? They said they said the name was Christ and God. You don't even know the true name. You have an established that connection with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? You haven't. You haven't got your house in order. So now, now when it's game time, now when the thief comes in, you through, through and don't and, and don't know what to do. Okay. Let me read that again. But he that is a hireling, yeah, these dudes are paid. You don't think Esau is paying these dudes off, man? Uh, uh, maybe not every single member of a, a particular group, but guaranteed the leadership. You don't care about the low level members. The low level members, that, that, those are just the, you know, people who just, you know, they, they, Jake, Jake is, you know, bugged out. You know, a lot of the members just bug the hell out. Right. But he'll pay up. He'll pay the, 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 the top top dude off because he can speak good. And he's, you know, he, you know, he can he can gather the crowds. You know. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and flee. We we seeing we see the wolf coming, okay? And we we, we gonna we gonna Lord's will after this, we're gonna bring it out in Ezekiel. We giving you warning. Okay? So when 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 this man come when his when Esau bring his red ass in, okay, and you you ain't ready, that's your ass. All right, but the warning has went out. Okay, you follow on these these pseudo pseudo Israelite groups. These niggas is completely set up. Okay, point you can't tell me nothing different. These niggas are set up. They paid off and they set up. They're they're hirelings. And then of course you got you just got certain Israelites that are just bugged out of their mind. Okay, they they hirelings as well. Just uh, just a Satan. They doing the will of Satan as well. But but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd who owned the sheep or not, see the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling, hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and care not for the sheep. Right. Let me read this in the NLT. Let me just start at 12. A hired hand <laughs> will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they do not belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. And so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs always because he's working only for the money and doesn't care about the sheep. You see, and, and that's what separates us, man. We actually care about Yahweh Shai's sheep. We're also shepherds, right? We've been we've been given. The work of the shepherd, the ultimate shepherd is Yahweh Shai, but we've also been given a portion of his shepherdship. Okay, the portion of his shepherdship to what to lead the flock into those those green pastures to feed to feed the flock. Okay, and yeah, we're we're hired as well, but it's it's not for actual money. You see what I'm saying? It's not for actual money. And furthermore, if you want to get technical. We're commanded to do this. So we care for the sheep of Yahweh Shai. So we're giving we're giving you warning. So when we, we see that we see the wolf coming, this nigga here. He are he already here. He already creeping. He's setting up shop. He getting ready he getting ready to have his feast. Okay, and the flesh is, is you Israelites that don't have that covering. Okay? But we care we care for the sheep just like Yahweh Shai cares for the sheep. 
And that's why we're giving you warning. Oh, you, you speak too loud. You, you always curse the people. Well, you, 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 you what can't you just come to get you? Because you, Jake, you want smooth things. You want you want you want to be told that everything is all right when everything's not all right. OK, everything's not all right. This ain't just you, this, this thing is not about you feeling good and somebody appeasing to your feelings, especially these women. OK, we ain't here. OK, to, to uh, uh, make you feel good. Now, yeah, we bring out the word and it does make you feel good if you in the spirit of the Lord. OK. But let me bring out this scripture and it will just probably wrap it on up. Ezekiel. OK, we've been we've been commanded to give you warning. Ezekiel three and 17, son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's who we're, we're uh, you know, the watchman too, man. We're watching out. So w another thing is to watch out for for wolves and sheep clothing. OK, shepherds that are not uh, uh, or, or you can say hirelings that, that don't care for the sheep. You can see you can just see in their attire. They all they dress that you dressing in all black. You're not in the spirit. You doing that. You're not in the spirit. I don't give a shit what nobody say. You going to camp uh, dressing in all black. You got a beanie on. You got a beanie on and a hoodie on. And and you. And you teaching. Come on, bro. That's you. If you're not an agent, then shit, I don't know what I'm talking about. Or you just a, a complete bug out. <clears throat> Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. See, let me read that in NLT. Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn, warn people immediately. See, <laughs> yeah, that was a, that's a spirit. Because as, as soon as I saw that, oh, oh man, you know the spirit, you know, put some precepts in my head. I like, you know, let me let me warm up this bone broth. I'm going. It's early, but let me go on a little walk. And let me let me bring this out because you you got this going on. You can't be ignorant of these things. You can't be ignorant of these these Israelite groups that that are uh, that are set up. You can't just be going around following any Israelite group because, you know, they, they say some things, you know, you on that black power. shit. And there's a lot of you Jake's on that black power shit, which let's go back into that color psychology. Right. Evil and wicked. OK. So, hey, I'm going to close it there. Hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. You know, until next time, shalom to the elect.